Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lake Riddin. I'm Frostclaw, but you can call me Frosty Stormy or Seth, but you probably already know this because this isn't the first episode of this game, series, whatever. So, you already know all this. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for watching, and let's get back into the game. I don't know why I saluted. Thank you. Have fun. Hi. hi. Let, let, let's start. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, we are in the attic. Half the attic. The other half is closed off. Ooh, the creepy music is here. Anything here? Can I open these? No. Can I open these? No. But I can open these. Oh! You can go through. How clever. Oh, just this little space. Ah. We're traversing... The attic. That's cool. I like that. Push, push, push. Okay. Oh, another one. Push, push, push. Hey, nice. That's clever. I like that. Nothing, 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 and nothing. Impressive. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Wow. <sighs> Nothing, 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 and nothing. Why can I open all of these? Hmm. You downstairs, you creepy little. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a big memory game. Okay. Alright. We'll get back to you. You wait right there. Don't make creepy noises at me. I like how addicts just sit there forever. And then the moment someone's in them, everything starts creaking. Like, oh, we haven't yet managed to settle over the years and years we've sat here. And is that really everything here? Oh, I got a giant gear. And I got a giant... Whatever that was. I can probably put this thing here. Nice. And a gear. There. Aha. Alright, so we got uh, 1B or B1. Uh, C5. I can see it's there, so that looks like A6. E1. F2. D3. Oh, God, there are a lot of these. Oh, boy. Uh, E6. A5. B2. Sorry, B1. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, is this the pattern for dirt? Interesting. Is this the pattern for the memory game? What's this? The light is broken, that's what. Hey! Get out of here. No, I didn't mean to pluck you back out of Get out of here. So we have uh, B1. This is why you need the notebook. Uh, C5. No, there aren't nearly enough inputs. F2. And then A5. That might have been like the last. Yeah, so it has enough for two rounds. What's the thing in the corner of that square? Now it's this. I can't see what that is. I mean, it changes every time, but that doesn't really help me discern what it's supposed to be. Is there a pattern? What order I do those in? Here's this thing. Which looks like one of the symbols. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's this piece by piece, right? Two squares, two squares. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, sweet. So the first one is the little star in the middle. 
These are clever puzzles. Very environmental. And that's like the final piece or something? Alright, so first is F2. Two hours later. And voila! Yes! Haha! -ha. We got a key. Open. Hell yeah! We got this! We got this! Just take some finagling. Whoa. Rubber banding, I guess? Open chest, nothing in it. I think a piece is missing. Good to know. I got a piece. Does it go here? A ship. I think a piece is missing. Alright, we're still missing more pieces. Oh ho ho! Books. Lieber. West 1, North 2. Okay. Uh, West 1, North 1. These are not in English. West 3, South 2. East 1, North 1. East 1, South 3. Alright, let's see how much sense I can make out of those. I think a piece is missing. A piece is indeed missing, so I cannot use it. And I have to figure out what order those books go in. Whoa, stop bouncing around like that. Jesus, every time I cross that threshold, the game just like, I don't know if it's safe, uh, quick saving or whatever, but I bounce around. Okay. Oh, that's just that. I like to leave those open just to signify to myself that I've already looked at them so I don't waste any time on it. What's that? Have I been there? Oh, I have. Oh, wait, you know, yeah, that's where I came from. Dum dum. Okay. Looking for a piece. This is all empty. How bizarre. Okay, what am I missing to this puzzle? The piece. What piece am I missing? Oh, that's a paper I can read. March 4th, 1905. It is such a mess up here, but the table will be a great hiding place. The old master thought I would never figure out how it worked. He should see me now. I don't think any of them saw me put it in there. It's better they don't know. I don't know who that was supposed to be, so my voice kept moving around. Um, cool. I'm really more concerned with just getting it working. You must be a very clever person. Because I can't find whatever piece I need to get that damn thing working. Maybe it's something I already have. What do I have? I got a knife. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that. Maybe it's one of the pieces to this. Because this can, like, still come apart. This lens piece can still come off. That suggests to me that I might still be able to use it. Aha! Uh -huh. I think a piece is missing. Yes. Okay. So I can only start with west or north. That helps me out a little bit. Attic. Old German book, old handwritten book, old Latin book, old symbol book. Alright, west one, north two. E can't move east west one north one okay west three south two i cannot move south so it's either starts with west one north one or west two one north two so either way it's west one north one <laughs> What? Did I literally just randomly guess the right order? Big brain! Huge brain. Massive brain. A brain beyond my own brain's comprehension. Let's go. Where are you going? Where am I? 
That's my question. What's that light? That is also my question. Do I need to walk towards it? I do. I'm chasing you. Okay. Oh. Our side it is snowing. Marie? What is this place? Sophia? Are you here somewhere? Marie, I can't hear you. I don't know what happened. Is that Marie? I heard you calling out for me in the woods. No, sorry, Sophia. My body, it had a mind of its own. And now I'm stuck. You have to help me get out of here. That's the plan. Uh, remind me how I do that. Why are you a little ghost orb? Interesting. Okay. Okay. This is this is fine. We got this. There's no problem. We're just gonna follow the little ghost orb through the woods in the snow. It's probably gold. I hope we're bundled up just fine. That's a rock. Which I mean it might not be as concerning as it's making it out to be. She couldn't hear me even when I was shouting her name. I looked around, but I couldn't see her anywhere. But hearing her voice was comforting. I was on the right track. Finally, a protagonist who's an optimist. Me to her. That's it what it seemed like. Simple. Yeah, it seems more like the blue light hey, was. Will you wake up? Oh, hi. You've been sleeping all day. What? While I've been looking for the other girl. I still haven't found her, though. Oh, well, I appreciate the effort. Did you find something up here? Yes. Uh, where did you go? That's a good question. I should where ask you that. Where did you go? Last night? I don't remember. Wait. The butterfly. You must keep an eye on them. On the butterfly? Okay, I'll take a, your word for it. Uh, I don't know what it was. When I opened it, I saw the brightest light. It must have knocked me out. I had the weirdest dream. A dream? I love dreams. What was it about? I could hear Sophia calling for me. And there was this blue light. Mm -hmm. How exciting. A blue light. I mean, blue light well, isn't particularly Miss exciting, Nelly but... talked about a blue light. We should talk to her. Oh, she here? Take the lift down in the courtyard while I look around the lake. We're playing hide and seek, and she's really good at it. <laughs> I bet. Was this here before? Ew, more potato dolls. Oh, it's another secret box. All right. Let's do this, I guess. All right, rocking it, rocking it. Sweet, sweet. And boom. Easy. Easy, easy. Congratulations on finding the third puzzle box, kids. Thank you. Excuse the dust in the attic. Your excuse. I have explicitly forbidden every kind of cleaning up here since the servants broke one of my inventions. That is unfortunate. There are valuable things up here. Miss Nelly calls it my graveyard, but she's wrong. I'm especially proud of my device for simulating earthquakes. Miss Nellie doesn't allow me to use it for some reason. For some reason. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Good to know, good to know. Wow. And we're out of here. I said, and we're out of here. Very slowly, but we're out of here. Huh, I almost missed that. 
But don't let that fool you. I'm still incredibly large brained. Lorge. Okay. Did this. Are these doors unlocked now? No. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back here. And to lower this, I just gotta mess this up, right? No? Well, how do I get down? Was there another exit that I completely missed because I'm a genius? Hey, what was the ghost's name again? Nora? Something? Nona? Nora? Nora? I think. How do I... How do I get down? I don't have a key for this. Damn it. I can't adjust the puzzle anymore. There must be another way down that I just missed. From, from the attic? I can't think of another way down. Oh, what? Where did you come from? Cool, there's another way down. Don't question it. I'm not going to question it. Bedrooms. Hey, this is where the kids lived? That's cute. That's a... Two beds and a crypt. Two cribs. Uh, more creepy potato dolls. Wash basin, I assume. Furnace. Seems a little dangerous, but okay. Here's another bedroom. Some more sophisticated toys for a more civilized age. Very nice. I approve. Hmm. A chest. Ooh. Ah, yes. Yeah, so a much more sophisticated drawing by a significantly more sophisticated artist. You will see then in the fine details that there's no potato girls here. Only potato horses. The far superior race. And that's all I have to say. Ah, oh, great. Well, there we go. Potato to girl doll. We have devolved back to potato dolls. I'm sorry I gave them so much credit so fast. But horse. But horse. There will always be horse. That didn't help me at all. Now I'm just back here. Oh, wait, no. Okay, good. It stays unlocked. Jeez. So I could, the key was in the lock. How interesting. Oh, wait. I can get down from here. Awesome. But uh, I want to check out this area first. It's double doors. Okay, what do we got? Ooh. Balcony. Whoa. Heck yeah. This place is so much nicer in the day. Look at that. It's a... It's a... It's a... Gazebo. Gazebo. It's a gazebo. That's beautiful. Oh, we got another building down there. Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. What else do we got? Another note. Is uh is this the crazy scientist dude with the glowing box who owns this place? I see the kids adore him. And that's all that's here. Cool. I'll be on my way with that permanently ingrained in my mind then. What's back here? A chest with nothing in it. Very interesting. I'm so glad I spent my time looking at that. Open, open, open. Aha, the front door. Beautiful. And here we got... Ah, this is where we were. Awesome. This is locked. I bet it's unlocked from the other side, though. Let's just run around here real quick. Oh, maybe not. Miss Nelly told me that people in town have begun talking about the estate. For some reason, they seem to disapprove that I took in the children and their mothers. Something about being unchristian, whatever that means. It doesn't matter what they think. I have more important things to care about. Wait, what do you mean? Are people assuming that he's got his own little harem or something? Oh, so he just he just brought in the mothers. That's cool, I guess. So did the kids and the moms share those bedrooms and that's why there were so many beds and cribs? That's kind of neat. 
Uh, not exactly my ideal living situation, but... Hey, uh, don't knock it till you try it. And this room was a waste of time. Cool. What about over here? And there we go. We found this door to this room. How don't we already find it? Maybe we didn't. Oh, there were two doors. Yeah, right. So that's one. And here's a dining room, it seems. Uh, d you dine on a carpet? What kind of animals are you? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're so not animal that you don't make a mess. I don't know. That's a well. I will remember that. It has been remembered. It is now firmly lodged in my brain. Never to come out. It's unfortunate that I now have a well in my brain, but this is the price you pay for playing video games. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Heck yeah! Look at this gazebo! Is that a sundial or is that a compass? Charlotte, Charlotte, in summer and spring, the flowers they weep. I take the tears and put it in your hands. Is this a haiku? No, that's not the right format for a haiku. It's just a poem with not much melody, I guess. Not as insane looking as some of the other ga narrative games we've played recently, like Vanishing of Ethan Carter and and uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, but quite nice.